Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. So, I didn't notice this yesterday, but we got another geode. Um, let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff in here. We don't need our hoe right now. We might need our scythe. We don't need the watering can. Um, and now we just have to figure out what we're going to do today. I don't know. So saw something there that I was like, confused about, but it wasn't anything. So yeah, um, oh, well the first thing we're gonna do is uh, harvest all of our parsnips. And our journal just updated. I got a hundred gold from that. So we're gonna go buy some seeds. So I'll need to replace these parsnips. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 20 parsnips. We're going to buy 19 more parsnips. See, well, should we do potato? Let's do potatoes. We don't know if we can afford to buy that many potatoes. Uh, reach farming level 1 and craft a scarecrow. Oops, I didn't do that right. Um, build a coop. Okay, so that is our goal. How do we build a coop? Oops. Um, okay. Crafting. Wild seeds. Wild horse. Oh, it takes. How many do you get from that? Because that's a lot of field snack, wood path. Alright. Let's go down to. I'm not sure what we should do today. Let's go see how much uh, it requires to... Oh wait, we have to go up to the building place to do that. So let's go Let's go get our seeds. We'll figure out what we're going to buy there. We need 19 seeds because we've got those one... Oh, we've got mail. You've got mail. Uh, to our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near Mountain Lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to initial uh, blah blah blah, uh, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any convenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value continued support and patronage. Morris, Jojo, customer satisfaction. We actually we don't patronize. Patronize? That's not quite the right word. We don't. Uh, we are patrons of Jojo Mart currently because there's some bitter resentment there. There's a reason we moved here. So let's go check out the mine. Oh, wait. Let's stop at Piers first. Sorry, guys. I'm a little ADD today, apparently. Um, let's go talk to whoever this is. I can't remember your name. Stop. X. Hmm, this weather makes me thirsty. Oh. What's that? Uh, Elliot would hire someone to fetch a smallmouth bass. You will need. You will be paid for your time. Sure. We can do that. First, it's locked. Oh, we have 10 more minutes. Let's wander around for 10 minutes. Wait, is anybody looking? Nobody's looking. Nothing. Anybody looking over here? Nothing. Dang it. Alright, let's go into Piers. It's a good day to shop. Is that Pierre? I thought he looked differently. It is Pierre. I'm just, like I said, memory sucks. Let's just go ahead and sell those. All right, we're we're rich. Um, so we needed 19, so let's buy 19 potato seeds. There's 19. That saves us $200. We could buy some more bean starters. Let's just look through here for a second. Tulips. I wonder how much tulips sell for. I wasn't paying attention could do tulips. They take six days to produce colorful flower. And they're only 20 G. 20 gold. Not grand. Kale seeds. What are jazz plants to see seven days to produce a blue puffball flower? 
Um, yeah, the rest of this is way out of our budget and not necessary. You know what? Let's. Oh, we get grass starter. Um. Let's buy. Let's buy ten tulips seeds because I want to see how much those go for. Ten. That's all of our monies. Oh, which means we can't have that geo process. Dang it. That's okay. Let's go up and check out the the mine. See what we can find in there. See if we can't find that. Do we still have Yeah, that delivery. We have two days to do this. So let's go see if we can find him that thing that he wants. Oh. Walk around the bush, not through it. We still have a lot of energy. We still have all of our energy. So we want to save enough energy to be able to go plant this stuff before the day's end. So we're not going to spend a lot of time in the mine. Um, but we'll see if we can't find... We can't see if we can't find that quest item. Ooh! Have we met him? Herm. Marlin. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. See, we're gonna just gonna do fun voices. They might not match what we did before, but it's been abandoned for decades. And they're all somewhat southern. Still, there's probably good ore down there. We could try British action for him. I'm not very good at that. Yeah, we're not gonna try that. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this, you might need it. Woohoo! We got a sword! Means we can kill things. A rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Yeah, I don't know what that, that voice is. Can we put this in slot one? Can we switch things? Nope. Oh well. Uh... X. Oh, Let's see what we can find down here. Get some rocks. Oh, we forgot. We needed to go find out. Oh, there's a ladder down. We'll mine this stuff up. See if what we can find. Okay, we got to keep our energy. There's a lot of stone. Let's go down here. Ooh, what's that? That? Okay, six. Six. I'd much rather have that. Oh. Die. Yeah, the sword is not very effective, is it? There we go. We got some slime. Let's come over here. Oh, wait. I gotta switch. Ooh, what's that? Quartz. Wait, that's what that guy wanted, right? Like turn some um oh. oh we must have missed the Reach level five. Okay, we we should have time to do that. Let's try to do that. So let's oh yep, three was right. Oh. Don't apparently know what I'm doing. Switch over to our sword. Oh, oh, we got stuck there. No, I don't want to get stuck. Spam the right, left, left click. Spam right, left. Wow, words. Words are something I just struggle with. Got some more copper. I think we need copper to upgrade our weapons, so that's good. Some of these only take one hit and some take two. Those ones take two. Oh, but you get more stone from them. Let's see if we can't find. Oh, there was copper in oh, right there. There's the down. It's 110. We gotta hurry if we're gonna. We don't have a lot of. In well, we still. We're over halfway with our energy. Oh, come on. Walk forward. Oh, that's the way down. Perfect. One more level, and then I think we're on level... Yep, one more level, and we'll be on level five. Let's 
Let's see. What's that? Boop. Did we get we got wood from that? Get some more copper. See if we can find the way out. Or the way down. Get down to level five and reach that achievement and then we'll head back. It's only two twenty, so we're doing okay for time so far. See if we can find the way down here. Ooh, what's that thing? Take care of this. Ooh, that was really easy. I was expecting that to be much more difficult. Think about flying creatures. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, we're out of inventory space. Okay. There it is. Come on. I guess we have to be in front of it. There we go. Yay, we made it to level five. Okay, we're gonna go. We've got, uh, we're gonna leave the mine. We gotta go get our stuff planted. Um, do we have any money? We could go sell that quartz and then get these geodes processed and then go back to the ranch. That's what we're gonna do. And then we'll have a little bit of extra money. We could always stop back at Piers and maybe, if, if there's time, stop back at Piers and get a few more seeds it may be worth doing I want to take advantage of getting stuff planted today when it's raining and it'll be wet um, so we don't have to water anything so let's try to do that oh wait we're we need to go this way it's 410 okay come on we gotta hurry should be enough time hopefully It's locked. Oh crap. Okay, well that was a waste of time. Let's just head back to the ranch. We'll just um we'll just save up some geodes. We won't worry about processing them. Processing them. It was going to dry it. Oh, and we gotta get a small bat mouth bass. Um we'll do that tomorrow after we after we water everything. I think that's Leah. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Yeah, that's right. That's true. They don't have a lot to say, but I like talking with other people. That's just me, though. Wait, if she likes trees, you know what we should try to do? We should try to make Leah our friend. We're going to give her, cause she just said she liked trees, right? We're going to try giving her a, um, like a, an acorn or something. Maybe she'd like that. Maybe she'll be like, that's the stupidest gift ever. Even though I think it would be really thoughtful. I hate that when you're planting, it doesn't give you the little red square to show where you're aiming. But maybe it's just because I struggle and am kind of dumb at the planting. Oh, we need, okay. So let's go in here and get, we need our hoe. It's only 6 p.m., so we're doing okay. Um, okay, so we need that. We don't need that. We need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We've got quite a bit of copper saved up. That'll be useful. Alright, let's plant that there. Grab our hoe. One, two, three. Oops. Five. Oh, we got some clay. Oh, nope, not there. Gosh dang it. Can you aim, please? Alright, there we go. And we'll get these tulips? Yeah, tulips. Hopefully they sell for a decent amount. They're pretty much the equivalent of, um, what you call it? Okay, we've got a little bit of energy that we can use up here, so let's go ahead and clear out a few more stones. I'll clear out that. Oh wait, you know that's why you want to use the scythe because the scythe doesn't cost any energy to get rid of those. Otherwise, you're using up energy. So that is a fair point. Okay, I think we're safe to call it a night. It was a pretty quick day. We got a lot. Oh no, 
We need to go watch our TV. Oh, we forgot to go get those uh, things down. Oh, keep doing that. Fortune tellers, just do the weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, so we're going to have a lot of watering to do in the morning. Let's go ahead and... Oops. Let's just throw everything in there, and we'll, we'll need that tomorrow. So what are we going to do tomorrow? We're going to go fishing. Let's put that and that in there, our fishing rod. And that should be good. We'll go fishing, and we will... Yes. Level 1 farming. Watering can proficiency is up. Hope proficiency is up. And we have a new crafting recipe. Oh, we have to make that, um... Oh, and we got fertilizer. Loving one mine. We have another new crafting. Nice. Pretty productive day, I think. So now we just have to, um... For that one quest, we just have to craft a... Craft a scarecrow. We need wood, coal, and fiber. Let's grab... Oh, I do that every time. Let's grab wood, fiber, coal. And let's go ahead and craft a scarecrow. Okay, journal updated. Okay, let's go ahead and put all those things in there. We'll worry about placing him later. Uh, advancement. Oh, we got 100, 100 gold. We gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking at your precious crops. So we'll, we'll put that out there later. There was another update. Reach level 40 in the mines. Okay. Let's go get our um, our watering done for them. Oh my gosh, they <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need to, a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. All of my guys are starting to sound the same. Yay, blueprints! That's what our little person was doing. Learned how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Awesome. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Okay. X. Uh, I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay 100, er, 110, <laughs> very different numbers, slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. Cool. We want to be adventurers. Okay, let's use up this little bit of water. So I'm wondering if, um, watering efficiency is... The amount of water you use, or the amount of energy you use, or both. It might be both, it might be. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably the energy. I guess we could count how long it takes us to water. Let's see if it makes a difference, but... That would require more effort than we want to put into that question. That is not that much of a need to know. Okay, I can't remember how many. I think the beans was at 10 days before they start producing. And it's we, we planted them on the first day, didn't we? I think it was the first day, and it's the sixth day. So we have four more days for those beans to start producing. Oh, we've got a something sprouted. It's already 8 a.m. I suppose we should look at ways to not have to water it every morning. I'm not going to worry about planting anything else in that one spot right yet. See if I can't get... Oh, need more water. Wow. A lot of, lot of watering to do. We'll see if we can't get... Um, uh, what is... Oh, wild seeds. Okay, let's go put... Nope. Stop. I wanted to do again. Okay. Let's head down here because it, they said there's wild onions down here. That, that, um, uh, who was it? The farming channel on the TV. Mm 
believe it was down here. This is where the river met the ocean. And I know the river is over here. Wait, there's a bridge over there. I love the sound of walking on the bridge. The dunk, dunk, dunk. I just can't help it. I love all those fun little foley noises. Um, oh, there they are. They, uh, I went to film school. Is actually what I went to in my undergraduate degree. And I have done foley a little bit. It's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so for one of my films, it's going to sound really bad. Um, and I'm going to try to describe this in a PG fashion. Because um, I'm trying to keep the channel... A little more PG than um, anything else, but anyway. Um, so we, for one of my undergraduate pro projects, we did a film about miscarriage, and um, and we had to fully. Or I don't know if it's fully, but we had to ADR, which is, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it stands for automated automatic dialogue replacement. But it's not automatic. The process is not automatic at all. Um, it's something dialogue replacement, and, and I'm pretty sure it does stand for automatic, but... Okay, let's fish while I tell this story. What's better than fishing and soaring tally? Anyways, we had to replicate the sound of the pain of that experience, um, the physical pain. And every time that we tried to do that, it sounded a lot more like a experience that is much more pleasurable to adults. Oh, come on. I want I want the fish more than I want the prize. I don't even know what the prize is going to be. So let's focus on the fish because we want to get that smallmouth bass. Anyway, so the sound that we were trying to make was trying to, you know, be like screaming in pain, you know, going through that experience. Sunfish. Sunfish is an ocean. I think this is, we're, we're fishing in the ocean right now. Um, let's go back up to the river. So anyway, yeah, back to my story. I apparently have a hard time telling a story and doing this at the same time. Oh wait, there's there's another one. Let's go down this way. Yeah, that'll get us. Ooh, there's a rundown shack. Oh look, there's a flower. I'm a little uh, squirrel today. A little um, squirrel. Anyway, so yeah, we were trying to replicate this sound and we ended up just sounding like uh, a certain, you know, adult act that is uh, an act of pleasure and we ended up just spending the whole time laughing hysterically trying to get the sound and then we actually went in and edited it in it wasn't as bad as it had sounded to us when we were trying to replicate this but it was it was fun it was a lot of fun film school was really fun really a lot of work but uh, I very much enjoyed it and if I weren't living in Montana right now I'd definitely be working trying to work in the film industry I don't know if I'd definitely be doing it but Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're getting better at this, maybe. Knock on wood. Oh, come on, come on. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. You dang fish. You're not. Nope, you're not escaping. Nice try. Oh, come on. Ha ha. We're getting better at it. Oh, every time I say that, I get worse. Sorry, I'm going to stop saying that. There we go. Sunfish. I think... Why do I think a sunfish is not a river fish? Let's go up this way. Maybe we have to get further away from the ocean. It's right at the mouth there. Oh my gosh! Let's go fish with this guy. Look, we've got a fishing buddy. How happy that makes me. I'm so excited to... I think that's the guy we're trying to get the bass for. Oh. Just small talking with him. I can't remember his name. Dang it. I'm remembering some of the names. Okay, so Louis is the guy, the mayor. Pierre has the store. Alex is the football guy that we don't like because he made a sexist comment about women. Um, Leah is the one with the braid who likes trees. Marnie has animals. Oh, don't leave. Oh, I was enjoying fishing with him. Okay, a lot of green allergy. That's not a good spot. Ooh. Oh, that's Leah's cottage, I think. It's locked. Only Leah's friends. Yep. Let's follow. Let's go check his name. I think it's Gus. Willie. Oh, like free Willie. The local fishing scene got a bit more lively. I might explain the shop stocks. 
Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so this is where we caught that small bath bass before, so let's try here. How are we on energy? We're okay. Got a lot of stuff to sell today. In fact, we should go get... Well, I don't know if I really want to expand the farm anymore right now. We're going to wait to get more seeds because that watering takes a long time. And we've, we don't want to completely take up our day just watering crops. That would be very fun. <gasps> Got it. Okay, let's go check our quest. Uh, deep, nope. What am I doing? Delivery. Elliot. Okay. Now I have to remember who Elliot is because that's the one I don't remember. Um, is he one of, nope, that's, I think that's Leah. Hi, Jody. Oh, Jody and Leah look similar. Is it just me or does Abigail have an unhealthy interest in doom and gloom? Wait. Maybe I'm just too old to understand. Can I keep talking to you? Need something? I just wanted to make friendly conversation. I wonder if... Okay. I think Gus is the... Is Gus the owner here? Come on, go around. I think this is Gus. Yeah. Glad to see you. Oh, thanks, Gus. You're so nice. I like Gus. Gus, is, Gus can be our friend. Oh, wait, Elliot? Is Elliot? Oh, Elliot lives on the beach. He's the, he's the guy with the long hair, right? Looks like a supermodel or something. That guy. That's Elliot. Yes. Um, you probably wouldn't like it inside of my cabin. It is dark and full of spiders. Okay. Uh, oh wait, we just give it to him. Ah, the small boss I requested, and it's a be beautiful one too. Thanks so much. Ah, thanks for complimenting it. Okay, there's 150 gold. Nice. Let's look at our other quests and see if there's anything. We have to slay ten slides, slide slimes, and craft a furnace. Let's look at our craft and see what uh, crafting furnace. 20 copper or and 25 stone. We definitely have that, so we could go home and do that. Um, there's Lewis. We don't have those geodes with us. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the farm, use up the rest of our energy, and then we'll craft that furnace. That sounds like that's Leah. No, I want to talk to you, please. I love to decorate for the different seasons. Oh, okay. I just want to make a friend. Let's see who else we can talk to really fast before we let's go talk to Alex. I think we, we can be done being mad at him. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress in a guy like me. Okay? Must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. You know, it's not actually good for you to overdo it. You know, it actually doesn't have any benefit. You get to a point where, um, in exercising, where it's kind of, I don't know, you plateau and it doesn't really do any good to keep exercising. In fact, maybe even does. Hi. Hi, stop. No, stop. Stop. I don't want to talk to you. You smell like grass. Well, I'm a farmer. This is such a small town, you can't avoid meeting everyone. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. Uh, boring. Actually, no. Not boring. I, I would like to live in the city again. Although I've never lived... Montana, quote-unquote, cities are probably not the equivalent of cities in any other state. Um, I think even, you know, have we not watered? No, everything's watered. Okay. So let's go ahead and use up, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in the, in there. We'll make some money from that. What we need to do is get the backpack upgrade. Uh, oh, so you can open it up and take what you put in there back out. There we go. We should hopefully level up our foraging today, too. Alright, we don't have a ton of energy. What do we want to work on? Let's go ahead and work on just chopping down some trees, getting some extra wood. I think... Oh, well, it's too late. Um, tomorrow we'll go down and find out what a chicken coop costs, because I want to get that up and running. So, let's go ahead and let's see. I'm going to cut down a couple more trees and call it a night. I 
I think this episode is going to be a little bit long, guys, so I apologize for that. Um, these days that, you know, I try to do about two days per episode. Sometimes the days are really short and sometimes they're a little bit longer. Okay, we're going to call that good and um, I'm go ahead and go to bed and call it good for the episode two. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like it. And if you want to see other content from me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. See what we did for the day before we completely close off here. So, we, we, up, we leveled up in our um, fishing, so that's cool. And we made... Oh, good, good penny. Yeah, that forging did well. Let's see how much. 152 gold. I am not going to do that math. A dandelion is worth a lot more than spring onion. That's interesting to know. Probably because we got so many of them, though. 35 gold. So we get 35 gold for our parsnips. So we'll have to pay attention to that when we uh, harvest those tulips and see which one's worth more. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.